Welcome back to Performance TV. As you can see, Tommy over here he is already getting our tranny fluid drained out for our next project. What we're going to do is we're hoping to add some extra life to the transmission and converter on this 2000 F250 by adding a nice new tranny pan, extra capacity from the folks at B&M Racing and Performance Products. Now, this transmission pan, it has drain plug already installed in it, but something that we kind of noticed over here and Tommy's been able to take advantage of, most production vehicles nowadays don't have a drain plug in them and you just have to take the pan off and kind of deal with it, but we're lucky that this one does back here. For you guys at home that are going to be installing something like this, the addition of a drain plug, if you didn't have one, man, that saves a whole lot of headache of installing this. Comes with a brand new gasket and all of the hardware here that we need to put it in and I say we go ahead get this pan changed. All right, Kathy, I got the oil drained out of the old pan. Nice to have that drain plug in there. Get yeah. That, so right. When you pull it down, it doesn't uh, splash all over you. Drip everywhere. All we gotta do now is just pull these bolts out. This is a pretty easy install. I mean, you really don't even have to be a mechanic to be able to do this. You can uh, take some bolts out and put some new bolts in. You're probably good to go. Yeah, there are a few directions here and there that you want to make sure that you read. But other than that, it is pretty simple. We're not gonna reuse these bolts the B&M kit actually came with all new bolts. Yeah, it comes with all the hardware, drain plugs, new gasket, new bolts, washers, everything you need to install. I'll have you hold this just in case it decides to come down when I get the last bolt out, but I'm sure we'll have to... Pry it off there. Yeah. I don't see any leaks up here, so... Nope. Looks like it's been good and sealed. And that looks like that's it. Oh, nice, look at that. Now that Tommy has the old pan out, one of the things that you would want to do no matter what, hey, you got the pan off, we're gonna put new fluid in, is you would want to change your tranny fluid filter. In this case, it's gonna be a necessity because with the different shape of the pan, with our new B&M, this filter is actually held in there's by it sitting in the bottom of the pan and if you weren't to change the filter and put in the one that they give you the part number for in the B&M instructions well you'd probably hit a bump and be losing your filter real quick there goes your tranny and converter went ahead we've got our gasket on here with a little bit of sealer to kind of hold it in place and Tommy are you ready to put this new pan on I'm ready slide it on under here all right First of all, we've got to put the new filter in here. And it doesn't bolt in or anything, it just slides in. It's got a little rubber seal on it, all the way in, nice and tight. All right, Kathy, let's slide this new pan up there, put some bolts in it. All right. Okay, let's start. There we go. Once we get all these bolts in there, to put a uh, 10 foot pounds of torque on them. Okay. That'll keep you from over tightening, it'll smash the gasket. Last thing I want to do is put a nice pretty pan on here and let it leak. Yep, once we get all those torqued, we'll go ahead and start putting some tranny fluid in it. Well, we'll put the drain plug in it first. Yeah, you might want to do that, which is a magnetic one, too. This also has a uh, outlet on the side, so you can install a, uh, a cooler or something like that, put it on the side. All right, Tommy, you get those torqued. What was that again? 10 foot pounds. 10 foot pounds. And I'm going to put the plug in on the side over here, which, as you mentioned earlier, hey, if you did want to add an external tranny cooler, which isn't a bad idea, Go in right here. And our magnetic drain plug. Okay, the next thing we need to do, go ahead and get our fluid in here. Now it's recommended that we start off by putting in seven quarts, which Tommy is doing back here. Or he's trying to. <laughs> Once we get our seven quarts in, we're gonna hop in, we're gonna fire her up, put her in neutral. We're gonna go ahead and add more until it gets up to the add mark on the dipstick. You got it? Yep. At that point in time, we'll go ahead and run it all through the gears. We'll get underneath the truck, make sure that we don't have any leaks anywhere, and then we'll go ahead and fill it up to the full mark. And this yeah. project is done. Yeah, like the drain plug isn't tight or something. Yeah, like the drain plug isn't tight. Yeah, like we'll put that I, in. I, I know that's tight. We'll have an industry update next on Performance TV. Like I wouldn't have the drain plug tight. Just saying. 